Hello, 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 and welcome to Just One More Watch. No, it's the other Scotsman. Check out the Willy World News. I reviewed the new tractors. They're all shit. Well, here from ZoutechReviews.com. I am finally taking a look at the Erebus Origin. Obviously, everybody and their dog has reviewed this. However, they reviewed the prototypes. I've got the full production uh, watch here. And so, what do you think about it? Well, stay tuned to find out. Right guys, obviously I uh, referenced Jody from Just One More Watch, but there's actually two guys involved here. You've got Jody and you've got Stephen, uh, Stephen Parker and obviously Jody Musgrove. Um, so what I'm, I was going to, I was trying to think about what I could do about this review. Obviously, as you know, Jody is a watch reviewer. And I thought it's quite brave for him to go ahead and actually design and make a watch because people are going to nitpick. And to be honest, I was. How do I put this? I was actually, when I got this watch in, I thought it's got to be something wrong with it. Uh, because Jody does do his moans and niggles section on every single watch. However, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. What I'm going to do, as I say, this is full production. This just arrived, what, last week, I think. So, all the other reviews are the prototype. And all the wee niggles that I've seen. I've watched a few of the reviews. Well, quite a lot of them, actually. Um, and all the small niggles and that I've, I've been for what I've the experience I've got with the watch it's all been fixed not that there was much wrong with it in the first place but anyway uh, just showing you the packaging uh, this leather case with the Erebus logo there it's nice Inside you get the watch, and obviously you got the warranty card, the cleaning cloth, a uh, thank you card, spare lights in that, in there, put that down there, and that's all she wrote, but that's just going to end up in a drawer anyway, uh, it was Jodie that I spoke to, uh, for sending the watch out. I've been speaking to Jodie for a good few years. And obviously, we're both Scottish. However, he's fucked off to Australia. So, we, uh, we would call him a plastic job. I can only joke. Uh, he also sent me the strap pack. It's got three straps in there. FKM, rubber, silicon and a nylon strap. I've not even opened it, to be honest. Because... The watch is on a bracelet. So the bracelet's never going to come off. Let me zoom in a bit. Right. Price of these. The price of these, they start from 299 US dollars. And that's the price now. No, six months ago or whenever it was, the first came out in pre-order. October, I think it was, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I the start from two nine nine. If you want it on a bracelet, there is different versions of the bracelet. They start well. They cost three four nine. Personally, I would suggest if you're looking to buy this, get it on the bracelet. Straps are ten a penny. Uh, Straps straps are ten a penny. Um, get the bracelet. Well, I the choice of bracelet you get is this one which is the curved H-link 
and you also notice, wait a minute, you also notice that the taper issue that the, a lot of reviewers mentioned uh, on the prototype has been fixed, look, that pure flat, no issues, wobbly jubbly. Right, I'll go through the specs. These are my own measurements as per usual. They slightly differ from what's on their website, but not much. Um, right, case diameter, 40.8mm. It has a total thickness of 12.3mm. Lug to lug, 46.9mm. And the watch has a 20mm lug width. The total weight with the bracelet sized up for my 6.8 inch wrist is 164 grams. So you do know that you are actually wearing a watch on your wrist. I mean, it's no overly heavy or anything like that, but uh, whatever. Um, right, the movement, Seiko NH35, 21,600 vibrations an hour, hackable, self-winding, a 41 hour power reserve. Wouldn't mind a pound every time I've said that. Right, the case is fully brushed and it's 316L stainless steel. There is no polishing on this anywhere. It's a full tool watch aesthetic throughout. Oh. Even the bracelet clasp case, but there's no polishing in anywhere. Right? So, which is fine, fair enough. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any issues with that. Right, the bracelet. Yeah, uh, no, the bracelet, fuck's sake. The uh, bezel is 120 click unidirectional. It has a brushed ceramic insert and all the arabics and markings are all loomed. Uh, I said this recently in another video, I can't remember what one it was, but I actually like a 60 click, that's what I went with, but, but this is still very good. As I say, there's two options, you can have this curved H-link bracelet, or you can have the flat link, personally I think the, this one's better, it'd be, it'd be my choice, the curved. It's very nice. Solid links throughout. Uh, female end links. Screw pins for sizing. Good quality screws as well. No issues. Fully milled. Even the clasp is fully milled. Double push button deploy and on the fly adjustment. Happy days. It's ticking all the boxes eh? And it is very well made, nice and smooth. I have no issues with this watch, with the build quality, it's really, really nice. And the, the finishing's good too, it's been fully brushed. It's uh, very, very nice. I noticed that there was a lot of reviewers that reviewed the prototype, they compared it to the Helm Vanuatu. I could see the resemblance um, uh, well, aye, it is similar, but it's also different, if you get my meaning. There is a lot of differences, but if you put the Helm Vanuatu and this in front of me, I'd pick this. Main reason being, it's, uh, it's a better size. I think, better uh, lug to lug, because the Vanuatu is like 50mm lug to lug, and it's bigger as well, I think it's 42 and a half, 43 maybe, I can't remember, I did review it, but I mean that was like five years ago when it first came out, I reviewed it, that was a written review that I'd done, back when I was just doing the written stuff, uh, right, crystal, really nice bit of crystal by the way, um, the flat sapphire, uh, it has six layers of clear anti-reflective anti coatings on the underside. 
it's all good. As you can tell, by the way, my review is fucking professional as always. I didn't cut out uh, bops, farts, anything like that. I, I just can't be asked. I mean, I still edit the video, but it's no professional. I mean, Jody, and there's plenty of others that are professional reviewers. I'm not. I just basically have a complete and utter brain fart and tell you what I think of it. And if I like it, I'll tell you I like it. If I if I think it's shite, I'll tell you it's shite. That's what, why I've only got 5,000 subs, uh, subscribers. <laughs> Didn't feel sorry for me. I'm not complaining. <coughs> right. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, what's next? The dials. <coughs> All the dial options are the different colours. I'll go into the colours in a wee bit. But they all have this kind of grainy, kind of sand texture to the dial, which is nice. And it's matte, there's no sunburst. Well, you wouldn't want sunburst, would you, on a blooming tool watch? Ah, it's very nice. Let me turn that round. Uh, everything's printed, the logo, the text. Uh, the, hour, the, the square indices, the hour markers, everything, it's all printed, which is fine. You also have a colour match date wheel, which is getting a huge tick from me. Uh, there is a splashy colour with the text, 20 Atmos, in red, and there's a splashy red on the second hand as well. And... There's also, uh, every hour on the minute track, there's a red uh, marker. And see that? I think, like, I think that's like the perfect amount of colour. There's no way to OTT with it or try to make it something that isn't. It's also extremely legible, as you can see. I've got the black version. Uh, I did ask for the white, but the way things worked out, there wasn't enough stock. Uh, but they had basically Jody says I'm sending you the black one I was like aye that's fine the black would have been my second choice anyway uh, right the loom oh aye the loom Swiss Super Luminova BGW9 and remember I said that the markers and that are printed <coughs> well there's an absolute shit ton of loom on this, by the way. And the loom is very good. Now, let's see. If water resistance is 200 metres, as you probably guessed. Um, the case back is solid, screw down, and it has an oil-pressed logo. It's all very nice. Basic specs around the edge. Uh, it's very smooth as well. On the prototypes, I believe this was just etched. But, as I say, this is oil pressed. I mean, took the blooming sticker off. Never mind. Aye, very nice. Oh, bracelet, by the way, quick release. I forgot to mention that. Now that I'll take the bracelet off. Bracelet, I don't have any issues with it. The bracelet's perfect, to be honest with you. Um, what's next? Uh, the crown, 6.8 mil. I measured it at. It does say on their website, uh, their website, look through the specs, it says 7.5 mil. No, there's no way. I measured it with the calipers. I unscrewed it, so I wasn't like taking into con consideration the crown guards or anything in a wee, any way, shape or form. And that's what it said, 6.8 mil. No, that I've got any issues with that. It's lovely. Perfect size. Uh, nice logo as well. No matter which way the crown is, it's right there. All good.
Right, I don't have any issues with this. Great finishing. Nice bezel. Great action. Fuck's sake, Jody. Could you know I done something and fuck it up a wee bit so I had something to moan about? Uh, right. Oh, done with that strap. Nonsense. The colour options. Right. The first up, you have this version. The black dial. Uh, you also have a blue dial. Uh, an orange dial. A purple dial. A red dial. Teal. Uh, a yellow dial. And also a white dial. So, plenty of options. So no issues on that front. I like the black and I like the white. If I'm being honest, I'm not too keen on the rest of them to be honest with you. But each to their own, it's whatever you fancy. Uh where to buy, you can buy these right now and they'll be shipped straight away. There's no pre order anymore, that's over and done with. Uh there's a link in the description, takes you to my website. Hang on. <coughs> Well, excuse me! Aye, take shit to my website, you'll get the full spec. Um, plus, anything you want to know about this watch, colourways, image gallery, details about Jody and Stephen, anything will be there on that landing page. This video will also be embedded in that. Uh, what's left? Two-year warranty. Two-year limited warranty. It's fine. I mean, I've been watching Jody's reviews oh, since the beginning. And I've got to admit, he was a bit of uh, an influence for me to start doing it. However, I took a different route when I started. I was just doing written reviews and I'd done the written reviews for about three years. Then I moved to... YouTube, and I've been doing YouTube for about, what, 18 months, two years at maximum. Uh, so, and jo oh, by the way, Jodie has also cost me a fucking fortune with the, with the watches that are, he's reviewed. You know what it's like. He says a watch is really good, and you're like, fuck, I need to go and buy that. I end up spending a fortune, and I have, I've spent thousands. So, Jodie, you owe me thousands of pounds. Bastard. Uh, well, what, how can I summarise this then? To be honest, I'll go, uh, when I get a watch in, right, I look at everything and I, I basically, is this how I would design a watch? And basically, this origin from Erebus, it, it ticks all the boxes. There's nothing missing. And it, it's what? On a bracelet, $350. That's an absolute bargain. I don't know how Jody and Stephen make a profit. Um, and obviously, if they're buying hundreds upon hundreds of them or getting them manufactured, there will be a bit of profit there. He's no, good, he's no doing it just for a crack, that's for sure. There's got to be profit. Um, aye, but there's, I mean, the bracelet's fantastic, it's, the finishing's great, um, they've no made, made any, uh, they've no cut any corners, if you know what I mean, which is great, even the plumbing date wheel's at six and it's exactly how I would have done it, colour matched. No frame, just a chamfered edge around the edge. Uh, I mean, how could you make this watch any better? Uh, maybe a 9 Series uh, Miyota movement in it. Make it slimmer. But then that's just going to bump the price up, isn't it? But as a first watch, I mean, it was a safe bet, but the design and the execution of it 
perfect. There's nothing missing. All right, it's an NH35, but I mean, I've had loads of watches with NH35s and not one has failed. All right, the accuracy is no always brilliant. Uh, but I did put this on the time grapher, by the way, and this came in at plus six seconds a day. That's perfectly fine. No problem at all. Normally you get watches in around this price and you can see where they've cut corners. You can see where they've tried to save some money. Like a shitty clasp or an aluminium insert or shit loom. There's always some. But this one... Fucking hell, Jody. I can't fault it. So, I've no other option. Platinum award. Trust me, I looked to try and find fault with this watch. Because, I mean, it's Jody. He wouldn't expect any. He's expecting feedback. He's expecting niggles here and there from reviewers. But I can't find any. You dick. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to go because I'm just waffling a lot of pish again. Right, well done, Jodie, and Stephen, of course. Uh, oh, by the way, I heard that you're bringing a sports watch out. I'd like to see that. You know, but sports watches are my favourite style of watches. So, put me at the top of your list, and I'll happily review it. Right, I'm going to go. Uh, well done, Erebus. Great watch, can't I fault it. Bastards. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.